Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most gas furnace repairs will require some disassembly. But before you attempt this, you should turn off the power to the furnace and shut off the gas supply as well. To gain access to components like the gas valve, flame sensor, and igniter, unthread the retaining knobs securing the upper access panel and remove the panel. To remove the gas valve, use pipe wrenches to separate the gas supply pipe union. Unthread the gas inlet pipe from the gas valve. Disconnect the wires attached to the valve. Disconnect the grounding wire as well. Cut the zip tie securing the wires. Use a quarter-inch socket or nut driver to remove the screws securing the gas manifold and valve to the burner housing. Remove the assembly. Note the orientation of the valve on the manifold, then unthread the valve. Before you replace or install a new gas valve, apply some sealant to the threads of the manifold. Now thread the manifold into the outlet port on the valve and make sure the valve is orientated properly. Reposition the manifold by aligning the orifices with the burner tubes. Replace the screws to secure. Reconnect the grounding wire. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminals on the new valve. Secure the wires with a zip tie. Confirm that the gas valve switch is in the on position. Apply sealant to the threads of the gas valve pipe, then thread the pipe into the gas valve assembly. Realign the gas pipes and secure the union. Turn the gas supply back on. To verify there are no gas leaks, apply a dish soap and water solution to the pipe connections. To uninstall the draft inducer motor assembly, remove the screws securing the exhaust vent. Detach the vent. Disconnect the draft inducer motor wire harness. And detach the pressure tube. Use a quarter inch socket or wrench to unthread the mounting screws securing the motor assembly.
remove the assembly. Reinstall or replace the draft inducer motor assembly by positioning it on the plenum. Thread and tighten the mounting screws to secure. Attach the pressure tube. Connect the wire harness. Position the exhaust vent. If you're installing a new draft inducer motor assembly, use a 1 8 inch drill bit to drill screw holes into the vent adapter. Secure the exhaust vent with the screws. To access components like the blower assembly, run capacitor, and control board, use a quarter-inch socket or nut driver to unthread the mounting screws securing the lower access panel. Lift the panel up to remove. To ensure the run capacitor is discharged, place a screwdriver with an insulated handle across the terminals. Avoid touching the screwdriver blade. To uninstall the blower assembly, first disconnect the capacitor wires. If necessary, note the orientation of the thermostat wires, then disconnect them from the control board to move them out of the way. Note the orientation of the blower motor wires, then disconnect them from the board. Cut the zip tie securing the control board wires. Use the quarter inch socket or nut driver to loosen the screws securing the control board mounting panel. Slide the panel forward to detach and move it out of the way. Note where the blower assembly mounting rails are positioned on the support. Then use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws securing the rails. With the screws removed, carefully slide out the blower assembly. To remove the blower motor, use an adjustable wrench to loosen the set screw to release the blower wheel from the motor shaft. Now tip the assembly on its side with the motor facing up. Remove the screw to detach the grounding wire. Cut the zip tie securing the motor wires. Now use a 3 8 inch socket to unthread the blower motor mounting bolts. Note the orientation of the motor, then lift it off of the blower housing. Reinstall or replace the motor by inserting the shaft into the blower wheel as you properly align the motor on the housing. Confirm that the shoulder washers are intact in the motor mounting brackets. Then thread and tighten the bolts to secure the motor. Use a zip tie to secure the motor wires. Make sure the grounding wire is secured with the screw. Now return the blower assembly to its upright position. With the flat side of the motor shaft facing the set screw, center the blower wheel in the housing, then tighten the set screw.
Continue the reassembly by realigning the blower assembly mounting rails with the slots on the support. Then slide the assembly into position. Replace the screws to secure the rails. Reposition the control board panel on the support and tighten the screws to secure. Attach the blower motor wires to the appropriate terminals on the control board. Connect the capacitor wires. If applicable, reconnect the thermostat wires as well. Use a zip tie to secure the control board wires. Replace the lower access panel by aligning the bottom edge first. Thread and tighten the screws to secure. Realign the top edge of the upper access panel, then thread the retaining knobs to secure. With the reassembly complete, turn the power supply back on and your furnace should be ready for use.